Now, with theatres and cinemas shut for so long, we've seen podcasts increase in popularity. Great for listeners, but they've also provided a means for actors and musicians to still practice their art in front of an audience. So well, this week sees the release of a musical podcast that takes us back to 18th century London. The Ballad of Anne and Mary is about the exploits of pirates at sea, but also in this city. It stars Hamilton actor Carl Queensborough. We'll speak to him in just a moment, but first, let's have a listen. Please, I'm, I'm just a writer. I'm a journalist. I'm, I'm, I'm writing a book and I would like you to be in it. That's all. A book? What kind of book? A history of pirates. Well, you heard from him just a little bit there and Carl Queensborough joins us now. Hi, Carl. Thanks so much for joining us. It's, it's hard, isn't it, to get an impression of what this uh, podcast is all about by just hearing a tiny little snippet like that. But tell us a bit more. <laughs> Yeah, so the Ballad of Anne and Mary is kind of is set in London, 1721, and these two pirates, uh, Anne and Mary, are kind of notorious female pirates, and they have really huge kind of tales of um, adventure and uh, conquests and fights. And the character I play is called Nathaniel Mist, and he's kind of a uh, debt-ridden debt kind of novelist, reporter, and they've been imprisoned, and he basically goes to the prison, and his plan is to kind of exploit their tales, their adventures, and kind of ghostwrite, go under a fake name and kind of make money off their uh, tales. And, you know, his intention is to make money uh, off them in the first place, but as the kind of, as he gets sucked into the story a bit more and he gets taken into how they met, the adventures that they have, he kind of sides with them and kind of forms a mm -hmm. friendship. I won't say anymore, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Don't reveal it all. <laughs> and it's all, no. <laughs> it's, it's all set to original music, isn't it? And lots of sea shanties and pirate songs. And sea shanties very popular at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, just a bit popular. I see a lot of remixes um, <laughs> online and on Instagram. So, yeah, I think uh, the guys at Long Cat Media kind of took advantage of that. But, yeah, the, all the music <laughs> in it is absolutely fantastic. Well, listen, that podcast, I know it gets released this week and there's five parts, but I've got to talk to you about Hamilton, haven't I? Because you are the star <laughs> of Hamilton. You play Alexander Hamilton. And, um, you know, we know with what happened with the pandemic, all theatres were closed mm -hmm. rather abruptly, weren't they, last year? So I, I guess... I, First question really is, we know that it's coming back in August, but how has this year been for you? It must have been really tough. Yeah, I think it all uh, everyone in the industry was kind of hit hard by the pandemic. And mm. I think we've kind of seen through this lockdown how much film, TV and even live stream theatre has kind of helped people through these tough times. Um, so from what I've seen from myself and other friends, I think things like voiceover stuff like I said pop podcasts gaming I know for me motion capture has been a big thing and I was really yeah. lucky enough to get like a voiceover agent just before uh, the first lockdown so that's kind of been my main source of income is voiceover acting because I have like the studio set up at home but you um, but, but you are going to be back on the stage because it's coming back Hamilton's coming back lots of people are very excited because they had their cancelled tickets and now they're hoping that they can yeah. come and see the show again what's it going to be like to finally get back on the stage oh uh, man I know that everyone has been <laughs> like ecstatic to come to, to see it you know i think especially since it dropped on disney plus i think the fans are just really eager to get back in and it's such a mm. a popular story and you know that kind of rags to riches kind of story of hamilton himself so to you know to actually have an official date to come back is like it's incredibly exciting and it's, it's such a big cast it must be it'll be like getting back together with the family again won't it Honestly, I feel like we're just uh, us lot on stage. We're like just a bunch of like college kids just having fun <laughs> and just getting to tell this like incredible story and fans absolutely love it and kind of getting that buzz and that energy and that feel from them is always like a great feeling and I've missed well, it a lot. Oh, well, listen, we've missed the theatre here in London. We can tell you that. Um, the Ballad of Anna Mary out this week and you're back on stage with Hamilton August the 19th, I believe. Fingers crossed. Carl, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much. Take care. Oh, and Sally, is it? You like a musical, don't you? Oh, I love a musical. We'll talk about that afterwards, <laughs> though, because I need to talk to you about the weather and how incredibly cold it has been.